What up, y'all? It is Alex, and we are about to start track number two from Lifestyles of the Laptop Cafe by the Other People Place. This track is called It's Your Love, and it's really cool. We're going to talk about a few things today that we haven't talked about before, I don't think. We're going to talk about some baseline stuff. We're going to talk about a couple chord things. We're going to talk about solo stuff. We're going to talk about the arrangement a lot. But while we talk about it, we'll bring up those other things. So let's go ahead and get started. This track's very simple. We got the 808 happening again, kicks happening on every beat. You got the hat pattern, a snare pattern, and a bass line. And as is normal, we're gonna there James is just gonna raise up the volume of, of like the whole beat to start the track instead of just like having it all be full on volume at once. You'll you see this and you see this all the time. Let's go. So as you can tell, we are going to start off by just having, you know, the drums and the bass line come in. And then to help keep things interesting and set a tone, we're going to have these chords pop into the game. And I think this is interesting just because uh, I assume you've heard that album if you're watching this video, but you get nice pads all the time in this album. There's pads there, there's pads there. There's pads there. Okay, yeah. You'll notice you get pads all the time in this album, and uh, yeah, I mean, that, I think that's part of what helps give this whole album its entire feel. It's just lots of nice pads going, coupled with like the tempos and whatever. But um, yeah, I'm not going to go over the exact chords that they are, but basically this is a four bar loop, which has this song complementing the bass line, which is also moving in a four bar loop. Um, so if you notice, just listen to the bass line, you'll, it goes, does this little funky thing, then it goes down, then a funky thing and goes up. And then the chords just repeat. I mentioned I want to talk about a bass line thing, so let's get into that. These aren't the exact notes being played. I do know it's in the key of C, uh, but basically in a lot of funk stuff, it's very common to have your bass line hit the note that is the key of the song on the one. So by that I mean the song's in C something and basically it makes sense that on the one you hit a C going boom just like that. And it's common that you keep returning to the C too. Now I don't want to get too deep into this stuff but basically, if you're writing a bass line and you're trying to make it funky, just have your note hitting on the one, and then that'll probably be the key of your song. And it's a common thing to like play a little riff here. So, for example, you have boom, 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 boom. We'll call that riff one. Then we can call this riff two. Boom, 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 boom. But it's common to return to that riff. Boom, 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 boom and then do a different thing after it. So for example, look at this bass line. This, this part repeats, but then the second half of it is different. And that's just kind of cool because uh, it just sounds nice. And that's just a thing that you should try. But yeah enough of that so the track keeps going it repeats this part a bit and then we're gonna get this little twinkle synth sound happen which is nice just because it gives us something else to listen to and that helps keep our interest as the track progresses Cool, so we had a lot of stuff changing right here and here as well. So basically, we had these chords come in, they drop out, then we have the twinkle, 
if y'all have seen any of my videos or if you've seen some of my videos, especially the techno ones, this is so common. Again, we have a bass line here playing with just a twinkle sound. We've never had this combination of sounds existing before, so this is interesting for our ears. Yeah, because we've never had twinkle, bass line, and drums just that before. So this is an interesting thing to hear. Now, from here, from this section to this section, we have a big change. And that big change is the chords change. So here we just had this four bar loop repeating with chords, but now we have the chords just changing and they're doing like this classic chord structure thing, which we'll, we'll talk about briefly. But not only that, but you have this vocal line come in, which says, let's hear it real quick. Sounds like it's your love that's keeping me sorry. Very, very sad. Um, but basically, uh, so yeah, you have the vocal line come in, then you have the chord change happen, which is just like a lot of change. And so that's cool. It just kind of like, it just sounds good. And it gives us a sense of change because it is a change. We haven't had this before. It's different. I also think it's cool to note how so much of this album relies on just little vocal samples. So, you know, in eye contact, there's that little mmm happening. Then on this one, you have It's Your Love That's Keeping Me Sorry. Then in Let Me Be, you have Let Me Be What I Wanna Be. So this is just a common trick in this album is just, you know, have a choice vocal sample and let it do its thing. Now, let's talk about the chords. Again, we won't get too deep into it, but look, look what I'm doing. I haven't done this for y'all before. I have a little track here. I think there's a, I'll put, whatever, there's some synth on it. So here are the chords. So if you're trying to do stuff that's funky, uh, go ahead and draw out a minor chord. So that's, to do a minor chord, you pick a note, in this case it's a C. Then you add three, so you go one, two, three. Then you do plus four. That's your minor chord. And then to get the funky sound, you add, let's see what you add. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You add seven. Whoop. And then you get this. It just sounds cool. You hear it in funk a lot. And then it's very common, you hear this in funk stuff all the time, you just take that chord and then you just go up one step and you go back down. So if you've never done that before, definitely go ahead and try that. It's going to be great. And um, yeah, so let's hear that. Boom. I'm telling you, just go do that if you haven't done that before. It's going to be a blast. All right. So that's the second chord part that happens in this song. And so now we're just going to groove for a while with those chords, with the twinkle sound, with the vocal thing happening, with the drums happening. And we're just going to keep it moving for a bit until Hey Hey comes in. I called it Hey Hey because it's Let's just call it solo. We'll do hey hey slash solo. I can't decide. Yeah, I called it hey hey because it, it, like when I hear it, it just pops in. It's just like -doo -doo. and I was just like, oh, this is great. It's fun. So let's listen for that, and then we'll talk about it real quick. So this is nice. It's just, it's, it's like a little solo and it's neat because 
like in eye contact we had a nice melody that was constantly repeating that was kind of similar in sound again if you haven't watched that video go ahead and check it out but um here you just get this nice little solo which is cool because it just it just keeps it interesting so then the solo stops we get the vocal again and then we're gonna have some little other stuff happens so let's keep listening <laughs> Okay, I'm only stopping us because there's a lot I want to talk about that we need to go over real quick. So after this part happened, we're, I'll call this the B, I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll call this the. We'll just call it the purple section because the purple section ends when it ends here. We get this little break where it's just bass line and twinkle. And remember, over here we had a little break which was just bass line and twinkle. So you'll notice in this track, the, the track, the bass line and twinkle is often serving as a segue between the two sections, the purple and the pink section. It's neat that we're doing the pink with the vocal and with the twinkle because earlier when we had the twink, uh, earlier when we had the pink, we did have the twinkle, but we did not have the vocal. And so now this is a new combination. Again, we've been over this so many times, but basically because this is a new combination, it's interesting and that helps keep the track going. Now, okay, that's what I wanted to talk about there. And now we're gonna get like a new solo coming into the game. Cool. So there you have it. I mean, I want to point out these sections are quite similar, like pink and purple, because on the purple section we had chords playing, twinkle playing, vocal playing, solo comes in, vocal drops, then solo stops, vocal comes back in. And now check this out. Look, pink has happening. And now you have vocal starting, solo come in, even though it's pink, vocal stops, vocal comes back. So see this this like this situation the these two greens and these two greens are basically the same on each section. So the real difference here is the chord changing and then the solos are different. Um, you can just look at them. I mean, look, they're just different shapes. So cool, right? And then after this section happens, you're gonna get another little break. And speaking of breaks, let me just take a second to thank the Drexia Research Lab and the Dark Science Electro Group. These are two pages on Facebook that are really cool. They post a lot of stuff about electro music and Drexia music and stuff like that. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you're into those groups. So I put links in the description if you want to give them a follow and just see what's going on. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of people commenting on stuff. So it's just like a nice little community. Um, and they've been promoting this uh, my channel so I'm really thankful for them so yeah go ahead and check them out but okay break over <laughs>
So I do remember the last thing I wanted to mention. So essentially with the rest of the structure of this song, you're going to notice how we're basically going to just flip from purple section to pink section with these little breaks in between. Uh, see, pur purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, pink. Bigger break there, purple, pink, then just purple all over the place, <laughs> and then it ends. Now, the, the thing I wanted to, to note about this is that I just think it's cool how the solo is also repeating. I say that because normally, and in, in, from my experience for tracks I've looked at and like broken down and thought about, a solo is something that happens once and then it's over, and um, you don't hear it again exactly the same. In my unless if if y'all know of tracks where the solo is repeating a lot, you know, go ahead and comment below. But uh, in my experience, that's not the case. But I think it's cool how in this, like, look. So this darker green is one, the first solo. And that one happens over and over again. Same thing with the lighter green. That one also happens over and over again. So I just thought that was cool because I hadn't thought of treating a solo like that in the sense of, like, having a little solo and then letting it repeat. So that's just kind of a cool little tidbit there. Now... I guess, uh, yeah, if you like this video so far, please give it a like and subscribe. And um, those are the main things I wanted to talk about. Just for the sake of it, we can just like listen to the track till the end. I don't know, we're here and you can watch the MIDI happen if you want. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe, please tell a friend. And um, if you want any of these Ableton projects or MIDI files, shoot me an email. The email is in the description. And stay tuned because we're going to be breaking down the rest of the tracks from this album and, you know, picking up as many little lessons as I can figure out and little tricks. So, yeah, leave a comment. Tell us some fun other people place trivia. And, yeah. All right. We're going to listen to it and then I'm going to say bye. <laughs>
And there you have it, y'all. They just fade it out, and that's the deal. All right, thank you so much. Stay tuned for the future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.